If your goal is to meet with students one-on-one -on -one or in small groups, an idea to do this for remote learning would be creating appointment slots in your Google Calendar. So to do this, you would pick your time that you would like to meet. And I'm in month view right now. You can switch to whichever view you like. I'm just going to click in the day that I want to set up my appointments. And I'm going to add the title of them. And instead of adding a time, I'm going to select appointment slots. Now, now is the time where for my own organization, I'm going to create appointment slots between the hours of 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. so that I have two hours that I can meet with students. So I'm going to set that range up by clicking in these spaces and putting the correct time. I want to make sure, though, that it is just for March 31st. So I'm going to go in and change it to only March 31st. So it's across um, one day um, and just two hours. Now the slot duration, I'm going to change this to only 10 minutes so that I can um, meet with as many students as possible. When I'm finished, I can click Save. Now in order to share these appointment slots, you'll notice that if I look at the date that I've scheduled this for, the appointment looks different than it does for a normal appointment. It has this grid here. So if I click on that grid or on those appointments, it gives me a link, go to appointment page for this calendar. Now, this is the link that you'll be sharing with students. So at the very top, it says, um, you know, calendar.google self schedule. So I'm going to copy this link and I wanna show you what it looks like in a student account. I have an incognito account set up here. I am actually logged in under a student account. I'm going to be like a student and I'm just going to paste that link that let's say um, you've emailed this calendar link uh, to me as a student. So I'm going to paste that in there and look what shows up. The same view. Now, when they first see this, it says no available appointment slots on March uh, 31st. So I can um, scroll forward to the time where the slots are right here at this toolbar. And I see that on um, the 31st, there are the slots. Now for students, we'll have a tutorial video for them as well, but if they hover, they can see what these slots are for. Because they're 10 minutes each, uh, and these are um, grouped by every half an hour, it looks a little odd, but if you hover over, you can see how long it is. This appointment slot is 10 a.m. to 10.10. To this one is 10.10 10 to 10.20, and this one is 10.20 to 10.30. Notice again, I'm in this black um, view here, uh, this bar. If I were to select one of these times and figure out, well, okay, I want to meet at this 1030 to 1040 time. So as a student, I'm going to select that. And instead of middle student, it would have the student's name. They would have to be logged into their Google account to access this. This is my test account called middle student. And all they do is click save. And if they want to view their appointment slot in Google Calendar, uh, if I click that, and uh, let's see, I'm gonna ask them later, it has their appointment right here. And so in their calendar, they will have a notification um, that I've done that. Now I'm gonna come back to this in just a minute. Okay, it keeps trying to run me through tutorials. And I'm gonna go back to the teacher view now. In the teacher view, I just had someone sign up for my appointment slot. So if I go back to my regular calendar view, not the appointment slot view, if I wanted to see that, I could have scrolled ahead just like that student did. I could see that one of those slots is taken. It's in blue now. So there's the rest of the slots are still available, but one is taken. So as the organizer of this, I can see that this 1030 slot has been taken. I can see it was middle student who took that. I'm going to click on edit event though. Very important step to do. And now I'm going to go through and add conferencing so that I have a specific Google Hangout link for that student. So I just added conferencing. This is how they can join. Uh, and it shows that that student um, is connected to that appointment that they self-selected and I can click save. Now it says, do I want to update? And I can send, yes. So that sends that to the student. Now being the student, let me go back to that 
oops, I don't need to click that. Let's go back to the student view and see what they see. I'm going to refresh the page just in case that's needed. Uh, come back a different day. And as a student, if I go to my appointment slots and click on it, you can see that the Join Hangouts meeting is right there. All they have to do is click Join Hangouts Meets, and it will open up the meeting um, right then. They have to just click Allow and uh, use your microphone, and, and that's the same with any meeting. So to review, all you would need to do is as students are signing up for their appointment slots, you're going to have to check back each time. Let me try it one more time. And uh, if I were to, uh, again, send, send that link out to appointment slots to students uh, in an email, and a student clicked in, they can see, oh, that time is taken. I want to take this time. And again, I'm still in the same account, but they would have their name. And all they have to do is click Save. Uh, they can go through and select um, these times. Um, and on your calendar, you'll start to see, oh, that time slot, somebody signed up for it. So you just have to be sure that you've gone in to the time slot and you've been able to edit that time slot, adding conference, uh, the, the Hangout Meets conferencing there. Click Save. It'll send that student um, an email, send, and they're all set. So your only job is to be checking back at your appointments, seeing um, how many, I'm gonna go to the appointment page as the teacher. And again, remember when you hop on this page, it's not going to show it. Um, I have to forward ahead. I can see two slots are now taken and that's what's left for my timing. If I wanna do this for another day, all I have to do is proceed with the same procedure, uh, click on it, and go through that same procedure with appointment slots uh, that we did to set the first one up.